And what is the most important thing of being a Muslim? As we said, the first pillar of Islam, that Tawheed, that is believing in the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's also the most important thing of a good human being. Not only for Muslim, even the most important thing for a good human being is to thank his creator. So the most important thing for a human being and for a Muslim is to believe in the oneness of our creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to worship him and no one else. And the opposite, the biggest sin for a Muslim or the biggest sin for any human being is to worship somebody else besides the Almighty God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or to associate partners with the creator Almighty God. Any brother here? Questions? Yes, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. Uh, my question is that uh, you were telling about that 9 11 was an inside job at that time. Barkha interrupted you. How can you prove that 9 11 was an inside job? Brother, I never said that 9 11 was an inside job. I said this is the view of the people. Some people believe that. So when Barkha did ask me, when she asked me on Osama bin Laden, and she asked my views on Osama bin Laden, and I said that I cannot base my views on BBC and CNN, because that's what the Quran says. Whenever you get permission, check it up before you pass it on to the third person. So if I have to base my views on BBC and CNN, I have to agree that Osama bin Laden was a terrorist. Based on this, I said, I cannot give my opinion just on BBC and CNN. And then she goes on to say that, have you seen Al Jazeera? Yes, I've seen, but Al Jazeera again, according to me, it is a part of the American conspiracy. It's controlled by the Americans. I've been to Al Jazeera channel, I've been to Qatar. I know many people who are on high post, and many have the opinion that Al Jazeera is controlled by the Americans. So why should the tape of Osama bin Laden be given only to Al Jazeera? Why not to other Muslim channels? Why not? Fine, again, what I told her, that I have seen even Al Jazeera, but I've even seen loose change. Now, loose change, there are many documentaries that are available in America, made by the Americans, which prove that 9-11 was inside job. And I, being a man of research, I told her, I keep on traveling, and I see the evidence from both the sides. Now, logically, if you see the evidence shown on BBC and CNN and shown on Al Jazeera, compared to what is shown in loose change, 9-11, and various other documentaries, and specially, there was an article that even came in Times of India that there were 75 American scientists holding top posts in various universities who said that we cannot agree that 9-11 could have been done by few Arabs. It's impossible. And we are going to expose the truth. And they said that this has to be an inside job. Who? Not normal Americans. American scientists and professors. Now, here you have on one side American scientists and professors who are giving their view and here you have clippings which are shown on Al Jazeera which many of them say it is morphed and as I give an example that those who know the media well and I give an example that when they showed the Taliban beating the women one of the experts said and there was a couple Malaysian couple who have been for a couple of months in Afghanistan they are doctors they are normal people husband and wife both of them doctors and many of the people, they said that because they live with Talibans, they know how the Taliban wear the turban. And what is shown on the BBC, CNN, National Geography, it is not the way the Taliban style the turban. Because we, as non-Arabs, we do not find a difference in how the Saudi ties his turban, how the Kuwaiti ties turban, or Emirati. But these people know there's a different style. The Saudi Arab wears a turban, the Kuwaiti Arab wears a turban. First, it's the same. First, most of the Chinese look alike. But the Chinese know what's the difference between the different Chinese. And the same thing. Once it was asked to Yohan Ridley, that what is the view about Al-Qaeda. Now she was there, she lived with the Taliban, she went to expose the Talibans. She went to expose the evil done by them. But when she goes to Afghanistan, she's arrested by the Talibans. And when she's arrested, she thinks now she's going to be slaughtered. She's going to be raped. And she thinks this is the last moment of her life. But they surround her. And she's wondering that, the last day of the life. They surround her and they are silent and she's wondering what happened. Then after a lot of, you know, maybe a couple of hours, there's a lady who comes and checks whether she has any weapon. She's so irritated that if you wanted me to know, 
She puts up her skirts and shows that she has nothing. And all the Taliban turn away. They look the other side. So she's saying that to destroy the Taliban, even if you send some undergarments by plane and drop it, they'll be destroyed. That means how modest they are. This is said by a British reporter who goes to Afghanistan. And later on she realizes the way they treated her. Before she was released, she was released on one condition. Their enforcer, they said, you promise us that you'll read the Quran. So she said that once she's released, she'll read the Quran. Only on that condition they left her. They didn't demand anything. And when she was released, when the media asked her, what happened? And she said that they treated me like a guest. After that, she was boycotted from the media. So this shows how the media is biased. And I have spoken to you on Ridley personally. She's a reporter. The same way about the inside job. When you see these documentaries on 9-11, or loose change, loose change again in the documentary, which gives various evidences why 9-11 was an inside job. And time will not permit me to give all details. If you see my video cassette, is terrorism a Muslim monopoly? And terrorism and jihad, I've spoken about this. Just to mention a few. They said that it's not possible that an aircraft, when it collides into the Twin Tower, the Twin Tower can crumble down. Immediately the person who constructed the Twin Tower said, it's not possible that the fuel of the aeroplane can melt the iron bars of the Twin Towers. It requires more than 2000 degrees. And that's not the degree of the fuel. 2000 degrees centigrade. It's impossible. Immediately, within two days, the person who made the statement was sacked. Similarly, those who spoke against 9-11, the 75 scientists, even they were sent on a long holiday. They were sacked. So when America speaks about freedom of speech, why do they don't want anyone to speak against them? Furthermore, they say that if a plane is going to crash into the twin towers, surely it's not possible to swirl the plane with so much accuracy. And to say that a few people did training just for a couple of months, even pilots who are experienced for 20 years, for 30 years, it's impossible to turn a Boeing jet with such accuracy. Furthermore, they give evidence. And how do they evidence? That someone spoke from the phone, from the mobile, from the plane. So what they're saying in that loose chain, that mobile companies are spending millions of dollars to let the waves reach at such a height that the plane is. Now how is it possible that the mobile phone could be heard from such a level? And what they say, that the person who spoke on the mobile, he speaks to his mother, Mark Bingham. So he tells his mother that I am Mark Bingham speaking. I am Mark Bingham speaking. Now if I speak to my mother, I say I am Zakir speaking, I say I am Zakir Naik speaking. So no son will tell the surname to his mother. So this shows that that was again a gimmick or a planted evidence. I am Mark Bingham speaking and the whole plane is being sabotaged and we are being taken as hostage. So this shows that this was a sabotage. And furthermore, one of the aerostasis saying, Oh, there are buildings! There is water! All the aerostasis know that building and water is there. So these evidence is shown. And furthermore, the plane that crashed into the Pentagon. They say that the CIA is so much well informed that even a bird cannot fly over the Pentagon. And imagine a plane comes and crashes into it. And the crater that was created by that plane was round. If a plane crashes into the Pentagon, besides the body of the plane, even the wings will make some dent in the building. There was no evidence of any wings found outside the Pentagon. But it can be a torpedo which was sent. And several such evidences. You, know, you can give a lecture on that. I don't intend doing that. So based on this, I say that the evidence shown in loose chain are far superior than what is shown on BBC and CNN. Yet, I am not saying inside job. I said there are possibilities. Same with Bin Laden. I don't say that Bin Laden is not a terrorist. I said, I don't know. I don't say he's a terrorist, neither do I say he's a saint. I'm being neutral. Seeing the evidence on both the sides, Allah alam. But the evidence shown on the other side is far superior, far more logical. 75 scientists speaking, they're non-Muslims, they're Americans. Why should they speak against the government? Why should they speak in favor of Muslims? Do you think somebody has bribed them? And here, these people, 75 scientists, they give a reason. Why are they blaming Afghanistan? Because of oil. To have a pipeline through. So they're giving reasons. She said it's a conspiracy theory. I said all conspiracy theories are not conspiracy. It can either be a fact or a theory.